Okay, so in this question, we're determining the total work being done by moving a block five meters horizontally. So first of all, we do know that work can be calculated as the force times the displacement in the same direction. Um, and so the displacement, that looks fair enough. And we have a couple forces. So let's make sure we read this carefully to, to determine what's going on. And uh, actually looking at it, I could see how people could get a little bit confused with this problem. Because if we were asked how much work does the uh, student do to the block... Well, then certainly here's the force that we're going to use. Um, but then we also have friction involved. So we could say how much work is caused by friction on this box. And we would say, well, we would use the 2.6 newtons. And that would be taking uh, the energy away from the system. So uh, when we're asked in this case, um, what is the total work done in moving this box. So it's not saying by the student and it's not saying by friction, it's just kind of leaving it general. So work in general means that we have to look at both of these forces and what they're doing to the box. So one way to deal with this is we could just say work by student. And we can say, therefore, it's the force by the student, 3.6 newtons and 5 meters. And so if we plug that into our calculator, we come up with 18 joules. All right. So if we were, if in the question it said, what is the total work done by the student? Well, there we're done. But again, it's more general than that. So now we have to look at work by friction. And so we would say, again, uh, the force times the displacement. But in this case, the force is 2.6 newtons and 5 meters. And we plug that in and we have 13 joules. All right. So had the question been, what would be the total work done by friction in uh, this situation? Well, that would be our answer there. But going back to the whole idea of total work, then we would have to say, well, the force by the student, we could look at as putting 18 joules into the system. And then we would say the force by the friction would be taking 13 joules out of the system. And so the total work on this system by a combination of the student and friction would be five joules and we're done.